as we take a look outside the door, we have a marine layer gift for mom through San Francisco. Squint really closely and you can see some of the water droplets out there near the coast. A bit more clearing starting to appear around 680 in San Ramon, but we just see the Bay Bridge. The visibility changes around the Bay Area, something we have to just keep in mind as we head out the door this morning. I do see it clearing, though, pushing back to the coast as we go to about 1230 this afternoon, just hugging the coastline as you're going to be hugging your mom later on tonight with better clearing and some warming uh, conditions as we make our way inland. So what about those temperatures? Here we go with those microclimates. A full effect here as we go on and take a look along the coastline. 60s through San Francisco, Half Moon Bay, San Mateo. We go to the Bay Shore and we'll do 70s to upper 70s down through Hayward, Fremont. But then as we move on inland, it's going to be toasty out there towards Fairfield, Santa Rosa, and down through the Santa Clara Valley. We'll do 85 in Morgan Hill for today. As we go on and plan the second half of the day, though, those picnics that you're planning outside are going to turn just a little bit breezy. We're going to see those wind gusts picking up around 3, 4 this afternoon. Nothing too crazy, but about 20 mile an hour winds through San Francisco. It's going to get gusty out there for the Giants game. It's the last one in the series before they host the Dodgers tomorrow, so that's going to be pretty exciting. As we take a look and see what's going to happen as in going into next week, here's where things are going to get interesting. You're going to notice just a touch cooler temperatures as we go on into tomorrow, especially through Santa Clara. We'll go from the low 80s today, dropping it down into the 70s as we go on into our Monday, Tuesday, and then we're going back up on this roller coaster through the middle part of the week, back into the 80s there. I do see Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, trending to be some of the warmer days before we drop again on this roller coaster. And I hinted at the top of the show that we're going to be in looking for some changes ahead in our long-term forecast. The rain is going to stay away. We'll watch and keep an eye on the Sierra thunderstorms, which are pretty typical for this time of the year. But the models are hinting at some changes cooler as we go on into about Sunday of next week. The models are painting a little bit more of that rain but I'll take care of that. You take care of taking care of mom today and are looking at our seven day forecast, which so far has sunshine icons out there through San Francisco. Once we do mix out of this cloud cover here, we'll see temperatures in the mid 60s, slightly cooler for our Monday, but then staying nice and comfortable through the rest of the week. Sunshine and upper 60s, maybe hitting the low 70s by Wednesday, but our inland valleys, look at that. We'll just cruise this week in the 80s there. We'll feel summer like temperatures as we go on into Wednesday and then just continuing like that through the rest of the week. What are the chances mom is watching right now? She is one of our lo loyal viewers in San Rafael, and I love her so much. We spent the day together yesterday. It's the one day of the year we're allowed to say hi, mom, on TV. Hi, mom. <laughs> hi, mom. Thanks so much, Cynthia. You're welcome.